Hey beauties, today I'm so excited to be sharing all of my denim favorites. I have jeans from the more expensive range to the middle to the affordable, all of which I absolutely love. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of fashion and hair videos, all of which I always keep affordable. We're bougie, but on a budget around here. If that's something you think you would enjoy, hit that subscribe button down below to join our little family. I'm here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I know you guys saw the Good American on the thumbnail and you probably want the tea. So I'm gonna give you the tea and I'm actually gonna share first. Let's talk about Good American. It is Khloe Kardashian's brand. It has an amazing range of sizes, you guys. Range goes from 16 to 24 and I wanna say that she goes down all the way to like a double zero, which is amazing, especially for a high-end, good quality brand. I love the inclusivity. I love to see it. These are the pair that I actually ended up buying. They do have the exposed button detail. They are a lighter wash and they are a skinny jean. I actually didn't find a lot of wider leg fits on the Nordstrom website. That's where I was shopping. Maybe I should have shopped directly from her website. I stuck with my true size, which is a six. It says right here that a six Six is 28, but I feel like a six is more of a 29. Is that a huge difference? No. I'm glad that she does do the six slash 28 though. These feel like leggings. They are so incredibly soft and so stretchy. Like look at the stretch on that. Oh my goodness, they're high-waisted, they bring me in, they smooth me out right here, which is crazy because it feels like such a lightweight, stretchy denim that I didn't expect it to completely smooth me out. And listen, I've had three kids, so I do have a mom belly. Nothing to be ashamed of, but it is there, so I appreciate jeans that kind of like smooth that out a little. They do run really, really long. They're probably about three inches too long for me. I am only 5'1", so I'm definitely petite. Personally, I don't mind just cutting off the ends of my jeans. I feel like it looks better than rolling them, but it's not that expensive if you want the original hem and if you buy it from Nordstrom, which is one reason I bought these from Nordstrom, and you have a Nordstrom card, they give you free alterations. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I did used to be the assistant manager of BP and Topshop at Nordstrom. So yes, they do offer free alteration on anything that you purchase at Nordstrom. And that does include Nordstrom Rack. Now that I think about it, since it's free, I might go ahead and just get the original hem because I do have a lot of like raw hem. <laughs> jeans. The next most expensive pair are these A Goldie jeans. I've heard a lot of people really, really, really love these. I actually found these on sale at Lulu's under $100, so I jumped on it. I will link this exact style. The last time that I looked at Lulu's, they were not on sale, but just keep an eye on it. I think if you save it on Like to Know It, it tells you when they go on sale. They are not very stretchy. They actually hold their shape really well. Even though they're not stretchy or anything, they're still very comfortable. I really like the distressing right here in the pockets. I just really love those details. I feel like it makes the jeans look a little bit more worn in and vintage-y. I did end up getting these with the knee hole in a more wide leg. Not super wide or anything because I still wanted them to be wearable. They do also have distressing right here on the other leg. They did come with the raw hem. I definitely had to cut these off, but I didn't cut it that much, maybe like an inch. They do still have some distressing right here, which I think is so cute. And I really, really love these. I wear them all the time. Also, I really love the way when I put them on, 
they contour to my waistline making my waist look so much thinner you see how it kind of dips down right here it does that on my body i did go ahead and pick up the levi's premium wedgie fit jeans again i went with something that was just really basic no distressing or anything like that these actually have a little bit of distressing right here. I love that they are a button fly. The A Goldie ones are a button fly as well. Forgot to mention that. These are a little stiff, I'm gonna say. I picked these up for $98, so a little bit under 100. They still fit really good, so I do wear them. I don't reach for them as much. These definitely are worth the splurge just because they're such a good classic. I love this like medium blue color. I love the coloring right in here. They fit well. I did have to cut them off. If you just cut them and throw them in the wash, and the dryer they will fray on their own like this and then all you have to do is just cut this off i haven't yet you really can't go wrong with levi's which brings me to these are actually the style 721 really really love this style it's high-waisted and fitted I have these in a pair of white jeans as well in a size two i don't know why they're still in my closet because i'm a size six now but i don't want to get rid of them because they fit so good and i'm like hoping to get back to that size maybe one day <laughs> that's what we all say right but really I've held on to them and I'm someone who does not like clutter like I purge my closet all the time and I still hold on to them because they fit so well and they're so comfortable I didn't have anything that was this dark and since I was trying out jeans I tried not to get anything that was like very similar to each other because I don't need five pairs of the same jeans. These, oh my goodness, they are amazing. They're a great classic. I love the like tannish stitching on there. It's not too much to where it makes them look cheap. This one also does have the coloring right in here as well as throughout the leg. This I do still need to cut off. They're not as long as the Good American ones were. I'll probably have to cut off maybe like two inches. Again, I'm only 5'1". Really, really love these and they're around the 30 40 dollar price range so not a huge splurge these have a really good stretch but not too stretchy where they lose their shape or anything like that i find that these stay up all day they're super high rise very very flattering and they hold their shape really well so i don't have to wash them as often think of jeans as you do your hair like you don't wash your hair every single day because it's bad for it right so same with jeans you don't want to wash them too often because you don't want to break down the fibers that are in the fabric that is what stretches out your jeans over time just being in the wash and then especially the dryer you want to avoid the dryer with your denim they look great they fit great they make me feel great so i'm all about those levi's let's talk about american eagle because i love american eagle jeans they are affordable they are so comfortable they are trendy you can find really great pairs of jeans at American Eagle that are soft and comfortable and you can just live life in them I also really love that American Eagle carries extra short short regular length and then long and extra long again I love the inclusivity with American Eagle jeans they feel so soft and vintagey and worn in they're so comfortable so these are the comfort stretch waistband i picked these up in a six extra short with these extra wide jeans i do try to get extra short because when they're too long on me it doesn't look good so i appreciate the size range i do love a gray pair of jeans these were on sale i love the big holes in them i think that is such a cute statement in your denim especially for spring and summer because i don't know something about just like a full heavy jean in the summertime in texas that does not seem like it would be comfortable <laughs> love the distressing that american eagle provides i'm a size six in american eagle jeans 
hold up well for me. The only complaint that I have is that they tear really easy. So like when I sat down in these, it, my knee literally ripped these jeans. Once they ripped to where my knees could bend comfortably in the jeans, they stopped ripping. So, I mean, they're already ripped jeans. Like, can I complain about them ripping more? I'm not sure, but... <laughs> Either way, I really love their jeans. They're so comfortable. These don't have that much stretch in them. They did stretch out while I was wearing them though, which even more comfortable when they stretch out. I wear these just to hang out around the house when, you know, I kind of need to get ready for just my own self and my own sanity and I still feel like I'm wearing my sweatpants. And then the next pair that I have from American Eagle, these are just the two that I've bought recently. I do have quite a bit of American Eagle in my closet. So I just got these with the bigger knee hole as well. Knee hole? I feel like that's wrong. It probably is and you're probably gonna correct me, which is okay. Let me know the correct terminology in the comments below if you know it but yeah I really like these I like all the distressing I like that it's a wider ankle these are a size 6 short initially I did order the extra short but these were just too short super stretchy super comfortable great for spring and summer I love the way they fit true to size these are a stretchy waistband as well these gray ones also say that they are a comfort waistband so it does have a little stretch in the waist which I appreciate. <laughs> Guys know that I love my Walmart jeans, most specifically my No Boundaries Walmart jeans because I can find more trendy like mom or girlfriend style jeans, whatever you call them. I think Walmart calls these black ones the mom jean. Just a little distressing here. I like the coloring. I like that these are gray. I've had this pair in the dark blue before. I had those for over a year, I want to say. The only reason that I got rid of them is because I have a bad habit of pulling my jeans up when they ride down from the belt loop. So over time, it just kind of created a little hole here. Not a big deal because these were literally $9 and I had them for over a year. So I feel like I definitely got my $9 worth. I need to reorder them because I absolutely love them and I dream about them every day. I'm kidding, I don't, but I need a new pair. I did also find these, no boundaries. Again, super high-waisted. These were like $9 as well, but I really love these as well. Such a great fit. You guys, I love my no boundaries jeans. Honestly, they are the most affordable line at Walmart and they are so comfortable and stretchy. I absolutely love them and I'm glad that I picked them up. Do not shy away from the no boundaries jeans, especially if you see any of these boyfriend, mom, girlfriend, whatever style you wanna call them. If you see something similar to this at your Walmart and no boundaries, try them out. I promise you will like them because they are so incredibly soft, stretchy, comfortable, cute and trendy and really really good the coloring on these are nice the distressing is really nice on these it even has a little distressing on the pockets as well as up here and then of course the distressing throughout the leg it's a great place to start if you are on the fence about mom jeans or like wide leg jeans definitely check out walmart i do again need to try the free assembly because they have a 90s fit which i think is very similar to the Levi's wedgie fit. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe because I will be picking those up and trying those out for you guys. Also, if you would like to check out my Walmart playlist down in the description box below because I do build head to toe Walmart outfits anytime I do a haul. And I've showed you guys several ways on how to style these. And then of course, I have to talk about skinny jeans. It's the millennial in me. Really, really love these. The only thing that I will say say is that I have noticed over time the zipper kind of exposes itself which 
is probably why I gravitate towards button fly jeans. So that's kind of a bummer, but again, I do need to try out more of the Walmart jeans, which I definitely will be doing, and more Walmart hauls for you guys. But these were 15 bucks. I'm really not mad at it. And the only part that the zipper pulls at is like right here. So I tend to just wear like longer tops with these in particular, and it's not a big deal. I actually love them so much. I have them in the blue and in the black. You guys will see I did cut the blue jeans to my length and then the black ones, I did not cut them to length. So they do run a little long, but that's good if you are taller. Also, I do buy a size seven in all the No Boundaries jeans. And I would say that they do run about the same for both styles. I bought a size seven in all my No Boundaries jeans and I really appreciate that they do run very, very similar in all their different styles. That's all the denim I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because I share lots of fun stuff over there like try-ons before I do try-ons here so Instagram sees it first. I also do Makeup Mondays, lots of lifestyle stuff so we have a lot of fun over there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye